What's up, guys? We're back here at the GSL Codas Tasis and Artosis. The Cassian Archon bringing you some of the best games in StarCraft II history. Nesty down a game. Very shocking results so far. Yeah. Then again, SC's all, uh, um, all in was pretty good. It was pretty it's well executed. The, very hard to stop. The two port Banshee build is actually the, uh, very strong. the you, sharpest all in, man. It's like the it's, most unforgiving to not be prepared for. Yeah. Of course, like if you prepare for it properly, are. it's 100% a free win. But yeah. If you don't, then you actually just lose. It gets out of control in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, the, so, the damage snowballs for mm -hmm. you know, how much Banshees can fire, or the rate at which Banshees can fire, excuse me. So we're going to have Lucera up against SC. This should be a pretty even match. Yeah, Am I right? Uh, yeah, no, they've Tell had right. some epic matches. Tasteless, you're right. Thank you. Uh, they've oh, had some epic matches so in the past. And, I mean, I would love to see something like that. And I'm really excited because it's on one of our new maps. We'll show you that in a minute in yep. case you haven't seen it. I haven't actually gotten to play any games on I it. I have not played a game on this map, yeah. to be totally so, honest. So we are going to we'll learn learning this it. map with you a little bit. I've right. seen it, of course. I've been looking at it. It's <clears throat> it's pretty handsome. It's pretty cool looking. I ate so. that slice of pizza in that last break so fast I got heartburn, man. You're eating, like, sandwiches and pizza. And what is next, Taste? Are you going to eat ice cream? No, I don't eat ice cream, actually. Not a sugar guy. All right. So, head-to-head -head here. Lucera against SC. Lucera with his very... Uh, back and forth style, tough to predict, not afraid to be aggressive, not afraid to macro. And the map will be on calm before the storm. Oh, thank God, I hate the bad weather. At least it'll be nice before it happens. Have you ever been in a, like, a, a calm before a storm, like the eye of a hurricane or anything like that? Have you ever been in the eye of a hurricane? No. No. It's pretty cool. Have you? Yeah. Yeah? There's a hurricane in New Hampshire back in 1992 called Hurricane Bob. Really? That's like yep. a lame... I th I'm sorry, but Bob is the name that you can only give fish. This is my fish, Bob. Now, this is the hurricane of destruction, Bob. <laughs> well... Uh, okay. Maybe you can name the hurricane Spinny McKill. Oh, yeah, that's a go. good name. Damn, you should what be about a like, man. The Destroyer. See, if I, was a, <laughs> if I was a meteorologist, I would be... <laughs> Oh, oh, that but, is really but, good. The destroyer is being pushed southward. They normally go with the alphabet, but I'm going with what you just said. Yeah, I don't Tasis. know. I don't know where it comes into the alphabet, but that's what I do. All right, so we're gonna go in SC against Lucia Terran versus Zerg here at the GSL Code S. That little head nod that we just saw Lucia do. One of his drones pop out of an egg, and he didn't have it rallied. That's why he did that. He saw <laughs> so it, and he was like, "Ah, oh, what am I doing?" All right, in the upper right, we have our player up one game. He is... I'm Lucera. Ooh, just trying to get in the zone there, taking a few deep breaths. Meanwhile, sharing the top side of the map, in the upper left, our Terran, who has amazing pushes, and clearly from that previous game, amazing all-ins as well. MVP SC. All right. So, this map is pretty neat. It uh, is. Because it, is. it does have a back expansion that is, like, impossible to attack. So, like, Lucera can choose to make an expansion in the front and take his third in the back immediately with his third hatch hey. if he wants. And, of course, Terran is welcome to do something similar as well. It's kind of like, for anyone who played StarCraft 1, uh, the expansion setup is similar to Blade Storm or something like that, where it's you, know what I was you literally about have a free expand. Is uh, like Garden of God, but with a few extra bases. Oh, there you go. That's I a, hated that map. I did not play Garden of God very much. Didn't God, like it was it. such a bad map. Uh, but this map much better because the matchups play out a little bit differently. Yeah, this one's gonna be. Uh, I'm really interested to finally see some games on this map. That's for sure. SCB versus Drone here. Who's gonna win? He's got his little SCB boxing gloves. Oh, they both what? they both put it out the last second. Yeah, oh, they... all right, cute move. I mean, he's already expanded to the back. He's not even making a pull. It looks like he wanted to just go double expand before anything. You know, the rush distance on this map is just so unbelievably long that he can actually do something like that. In fact, not, just... not only can he do something like that, he can show that he's doing something like that. Mm -hmm. And then even go gas, and then pool. Like, this is unbelievably, this is what we call powering. 
Yeah. He is he's getting all everything up before units. Like he's he's gonna have three hatches before pool. He's gonna have the most insane economy tasteless. His economy is gonna hurt to look at, it's gonna be so strong. Uh, SC in the meantime is doing a much more middle of the road build, which I wish he was, and this doesn't actually make sense. If you actually see him pull all those drones down, you're gonna think to yourself, oh my god, he's double expanding. So it would have been much smarter for him to do something such as instead of get gas, make another command center. But you know, it seems like he has a build in his head and he's just gonna do that. But, I mean, Lucira is just going to be a world ahead. He's going to have three bases against a pretty standard command center first build. Yeah, you know, you have to respect whatever map you're on. Uh, you can't just do any build on any map. That's, that's the whole reason why we put different maps in this tournament. Lucira clearly uh, in touch with yeah. that, and I don't think SC really well, is. You know, the thing is... I SC isn't reacting. Let me try to explain this in a, a slightly different way than I just did for uh, everyone out there. Basically, look at the build SC is doing. This is a normal build that we see on normal maps. This is a right. command center first into reactor Hellion. It's a little bit on the greedy side, but it's not too greedy. This is something that you can see on different maps. In fact, we just saw in the last match that we saw uh, where Lucera killed that guy with roaches. Killed ASC with roaches. He was doing this build, command center first into reactor Hellion. On right. Tall Rim. That's, I mean, it's it's a good build, but it's a, a build for a normal map. Now, on this map, Lucera basically showed, hey, I'm going three base. So now he's doing a two base versus two base build against someone going three base. So, I mean, that this is a build that's supposed to make you even against two bases of Zerg, but now Lucera right. has three bases. There's just absolutely, unless Lucera screws up, uh, he's ahead. It's just as simple well, as that. And his economy is going to explode pretty soon here. We see the additional command center just now being put down. But yeah, Lucera with three operating hatcheries. The queen's popping out here. There's just not a whole lot that he can do. Yeah, and it looks like SC is probably going to go either into Blue Flame third base or Siege Shank third base. But again, that's, uh, you know, that's something you could do on a map, on several maps. Just. Eh, anyways. Now you cannot let those Hellions up there. Looks like some more Zerglings are coming down here to defend. Hellions are not, um, they're not stopping producing Hellions at any point in time here. You know, it's kind of interesting. Lucir is going for a pretty quick layer. He's not even up at that many drones. He's at 36 ish drones. You know, he's got an insane drone spread, though. Uh, he has no drones tripled up at the moment. So that just gives his economies better than what you would think it would be with 38 drones. So, it uh, looks like he's going to rotate that structure off there. Hellion's still moving around the map. Uh, pretty much exerting map dominance here. And this is a great amount of Hellions right now. Lucera, you might not actually be quite ready for this. In fact, lifting that up is... Ooh, this could be a bad. scary situation indeed. Uh oh And Lucera might be in trouble here, Tasteless. The Hellions got through. The spike color was not planted. Did he uh -oh. get a bit too greedy? Using those queens to block off, but that will only last for so long. This many Hellions can absolutely kill him off. In oh fact, my god, he's going to get up inside. No, he's not. He could have, but he didn't kill that queen. <laughs> Still, he's doing a ton of damage. The Zerg nice is coming shooting. in. But he's going to eliminate a lot of these and as well. And he's going to get up inside. Oh, a lot of damage being done oh, in the nice. last second here. Yeah, in the last second, three Hellions were killed. A few more Zerglings come out here. And you know what? He's not even going to get any drones in there. So not bad by Lucira. Yeah. He, I mean, he killed. He only killed three workers for that, but he got he got a queen. He got some Zerglings, four slot Zerglings, made him lose some mining time. And in fact, uh, Lucira just now going to jump way up in drones. Yeah. He's going to jump up to somewhere near 60 against the 48-ish SCVs of his opponent. And no, the orbital has not even been landed yet uh, over here in the upper left. So... He's still on two bases with, uh, you know, extra mules and everything, but mm -hmm. it's not looking good. Well, uh, you know, I, I like what he did with the Hellions there. He caught Lucera yeah. being a little bit too greedy. You know, if Lucera had, let's say, two well-placed spines, that would not have been nearly as bad. He was forcing a lot of lings. But as is, Lucera immediately starting Burrow and uh, Baneling speed as well as Aspire. He's going to have a lot more gas than he's used to at these timings because he has those three bases. And he's making use of it. 
And this is slowly becoming standard play here with the Viking. Mm -hmm. uh, just get one Viking out. You can pick off maybe three, even four Overlords before a Spire's done. And uh, it's going to hurt the Zerg. The Zerg can even get Supply Block as the uh, Spire finishes. It's a very good strategy. Drop incoming, but the Queen is there to meet it. It looks like he still wants to drop. He's got to be careful. Doesn't yes. want to lose that meta back. Definitely does not. And, and well. here comes the orbital as the third base will finally be acquired. Yeah, that's pretty good timing on that. He's still similar supply, but I do expect Lucera to start jumping up a little bit quicker. Double eBay is up for SC. Only a single evolution chamber for Lucera, but he is getting his upgrades on Mutalisks as well as Overlord Speed. So, uh, Lucera right now, if I can just take a look at your computer, Artosis, excuse me. Yeah, 69 uh, against 58 for workers with Lucera in the lead. He may boost that up to 80 in a little bit here. Yeah, definitely should uh, relatively take, soon. Take a look at the, uh, the Overlord spread here. It's actually beautiful. He's yeah. got basically something uh, in every corner of the map. Yeah, that's actually uh, quite true, Tasis. He will see anything coming for him almost. Not quite yet, but almost. And look at oh this. Oh my god, oh not my. even a turret there. Yeah, this is actually really bad. And in fact, that was very dangerous the way he flew. And if Lucera had seen that and reacted immediately, yeah. he could have easily taken out a meta back there. So much for that drop, you know. Yeah. Once again, Bacon in here takes a turret out. Another SCV. Make that two. No, Superb don't make that two. Make my casting look bad. Ah, oh, beautiful by oh. SC. Oh, wow. That turned from you know, amazing harassment into a huge blunder. You know, it's funny. It looks like he does, hasn't played on the map enough, Lucero. He probably thought he could hide on the high mm -hmm. ground next to those. And he absolutely cannot. Yeah, the medevacs there definitely giving some vision and whatnot. Uh, you know, that's that's too bad for Lucero. That was a great start to harassment. He did a lot of damage. But it wasn't worth the amount of mutas that he lost. The uh, rocks up here taking a lot of damage. The Terran's going to move out. I think he's basically said, okay, I killed off a bunch of your mutalisks. I killed it about four or five. But let me just go ahead and go in here and uh, see if I can't do enough damage to take you out. And I see it's very good at nonstop pushing. Expect this push to be reinforced. Yeah, this is a huge push, Tasteless. There's oh. a lot of banelings with speed, but... Is there enough? He does have Burrow. We see a lot of scans going off as SC does know he has Burrow. That note, he knows. Oh, man, that Siege oh. Tank taking a lot of hits there. Almost yeah, going down. Yeah, a little bit surprising. I didn't even think he was going to Siege there. I thought he just wanted to break in. A lot of Veilings, though. The Marines are being spread, though. This game uh, is going to end very quickly if he's not careful. Lucera now moving in here. But is it enough? He's got to be careful. Beautiful run back there, picking off a Medivac. Still, those Siege Tanks are very scary. 12 more Banes, 26 more Lings on the way. This is so much gas spent in units for Lucera. You know, that three base really showing a lot of power, but, uh, you know, he's, he's lost quite a bit. He's got to be careful. He's doing a good job stimming little squads of Marines to come out here. Um, and whoa, it's been triggered. And that's a lot of Banelings, Tasteless, but the Siege Shanks take a lot to kill. And SC just looking spectacular. We do have some burrowed ones. Oh, does get scanned. And Lucera, man, he may not be long for this world. Oh, the mutas are. Uh, that's about it. Up. That might be game. One muta left. Yeah, that's that's very painful. Lucera will suddenly know. Uh oh. I have to. I'm not going to advance right away. <laughs> might have to win one more. He might have to go up against an SD. Yeah, it's a possibility. Oh, drop three this. mules. Just hit him saying, LOL, there's no way you're going to beat me in this game. I don't Dude. even need mules against you, you nubby nub nub three men in the tub. I tell you what, man. Oh, hitting mules. This when you want to use the mules to repair the medevacs. <laughs> <laughs> Using mules to suck up banelings. Um, you know, SC is really showing his, his completely brutal TVZ. He's just, yeah. he's been one of the best TVZers in the world for a very long time. He's showing it here despite taking a build order disadvantage early on. He got some damage done with those Hellions. He got into his third base and started his insane pushes. Beautifully done. And Lucera has to be kicking himself. You know, he, he had the better opening, but those Hellions caught him off guard and from there, it was all downhill. Um, yeah, guys, expect GG any second now. There's just not much else left uh, that Lucera can do. And there it is, GG. Uh, pretty straightforward game. 
foot. You cannot lose your mutilisks early on like that. Now, SC knows that better than anybody else. They lost quite a few. You know, the of course, the Hellion R has been really uh, hurt quite a bit. You know, he lost a lot of Zerglings, just a couple drones. Uh, but also, Queens missing Jacks. I mean, everything kind of went wrong. Wow. You see, I can tell, you know, when you get three bases that quickly as Zerg, and your opponent does like a pretty standard opening. Right. Uh, you, you feel like you should have won. So, Lucera definitely, uh, I mean, he deserves to lose that after getting caught like that. And you know, see though, his, his, his TVZ pushes are just so frightening. They really are. You know, um, it's funny because you could see what he was trying to do with those mutas at the start. Go in there, do some harassment in the main, go back to the expansion. He probably thought, because there was a, a very high ledge near that, that the mutas could actually hide over that. They couldn't. So he was actually just at the corner of the map with Marines shooting down the mutalisks. Yeah, that, that, that part was really brutal, you know. That's very true, because if ASD, I mean, uh, if if SC hadn't run all those Marines up in his main base, Lucier would have flown through. That's what he wanted to do. But then he had to turn around because there was too many in there, and then SC had left them at the natural still. It's death, man. It's too bad, Lost but a lot that's there. StarCraft sometimes. Sometimes it's not many little well, mistakes, you, but one big one. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Talk about pissing away a lead. It's unfortunate. But, you know, that's a uh, win is a win. So now we're going to go on to Nesty against ASD. Will ASD cheese or toses? Well, we are actually going to be playing this on Crossfire, which uh, this is a map that Zergs oftentimes are angry to play, but historically have done quite well with. Um, you they might know, as well have a Nesty action figure they put up there. They actually should. One with a karate chop grip. You know, it's with like different weapons Armstrong. you can put in his hand. Oh, absolutely. I would, I would buy it. I'd have a Nesty the doll. The Nunchuck. I, would, I the could replace the Nesty doll that I made. Yeah. Once he was out back having a smoke, and I clipped some of his hair off, put on my Nesty doll. Yeah, man. Your Nesty. That's right. Your Nesty doll, yes. I tried to stab it with a, a pin. I'm not quite done painting me. the Nesty mural that I've, I've been painting on the side of my living room wall. And soon when he sees it, he's going to realize that it's perfect and we're supposed to be together forever. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Tasis. All right. The game has now loaded. Nesty, the best Zerg, possibly the best player in the world against up-and-coming ASD. ASD losing to Nesty's uh, teammate, Lucera. What's his plan going to be now as he is going against the superhuman Nesty here in this GSL Codex.